Here we have the rigged Manny exported from Unreal Engine and imported into Maya. I'll go ahead and adjust his joint size so they are easier to see. Here is the character model that I want to use with Manny's rig and animations. I'm using the model because the proportions are very close to Manny's proportions. For the purpose of this tutorial, it is best to have a model that is similar in proportion to that of Manny's from Unreal Engine. This current model and his accessories are available if you are interested in this custom model. I'll leave the link in the description where you can get it. Now you can see that the custom model I am using is similar to Manny and not exact. For the most part, this is just fine. However, I will walk you through aligning a model with similar proportions to Manny even closer. There are a few ways you can handle getting the models here to match up. One is matching the model to the proportions of Manny. The other would require taking Manny's skeleton and adjusting it to match it to your custom model. There are plenty of times when matching a custom model to an Unreal Engine mannequin or Manny or Quinn simply won't work, especially with a heavily stylized custom model. In another tutorial, I'll go over how to handle that. For now, I am adjusting some of the areas of my custom model to match Manny. I am simply grabbing some vertices in a mismatched area, and I have soft select on, and I just nudge the area even closer to Manny model. Once again, not looking for exact. It doesn't have to be exact. In a later step, when I copy Manny's skin weights to the custom model, it'll work perfectly fine without the meshes being exact. Now that I have things matching closer, I am taking the time to place the pivot of each part of this model and placing it at zero on the grid and then freezing the transformations. This isn't a necessary step, but it keeps the parts of the model technically sound and is better for custom rigs and custom controls to be built and modified if needed later. With all that done, it's time to bind Manny's rig to my custom model. I first select all the skeleton parts from Manny's rig. I pay close attention not to select the root bone or the IK parts of the rig. Next, I select all the parts of my custom model. From the rigging menu, I select Bind Skin. Now it's time to copy the skin weights information from Manny and paste it onto the separate parts of my custom model. I need to do this operation for each of my model's separate parts. So first select Manny's mesh and then select a part of my custom model and go to Copy Skin Weights and copy the skin weights.
With all the parts using skin weights from Manny, I can test out if it works. I'm making sure the custom model moves in alignment with Manny as I rotate different joints. Be sure to either key all the joints in the neutral pose, the original A pose, before doing this, or you can hit Control Z after each joint movement test to undo the movements. Joints need to be in the original pose before exporting to Unreal. Everything's looking great so far. For the purpose of this tutorial, I am not going to go through editing the skin weights. The movements are clean enough for this, so let's go ahead to the next step. With everything working well, it's time to export. I like to ungroup the imported Manny group. I found sometimes I get errors when I export the rig and this was still grouped together with Manny's mesh. So I select the whole skeleton in the parts of the custom model that I will be exporting. I will export them as an FBX with animation and skin turned on in the options into Unreal, and you can see I'm in 5.3. This is the third person template with Quinn automatically selected as the bass player. I'll go ahead and simply drag the custom models with Manny's rig into the content folder I created. The FBX import options window will pop up. Most of the items we can leave as is. In this skeleton option, I will select SK underscore mannequin. Make sure in the information area about this mannequin that it shows and reads skm underscore quinn underscore simple a few notes of caution pop up here but nothing important and here is the custom model i won't go through the adding textures and materials um, part here but it is really simple process well at least at first it can become tedious and difficult if you need to customize the materials. In the animation editor, I can see how he does with animations. Just need to switch out the preview mesh to the custom character mesh. No issues that I see so far. Now I can go into the content folders and find the BP underscore third person character file. You can easily search for this in, uh, using the search menu in the content browser. Inside of the BP, go to the viewport tab and switch out Quinn's mesh for the custom character mesh under mesh skeletal mesh asset. Compile and save. Now you can play test and the, see the character. Simply by clicking the play button in the main window, you can do this. And as you can see, he works out really well with the current animations. So everything worked out, and I hope you got a lot out of this tutorial. Any questions, please ask me in the comment section, or if you have a comment, I'll see you later.